is good this is aura of night on youtube on youtube twitter and ny typical on instagram <laughs> i don't know what the hell am i promoting my things for anyway this is night from nytypical.net your fashion consigliere keeping it light keeping it easy watch the steezy anyway today we're here to talk about moolala literally i am not one to make profiles of my peers at all like not in any particular not in any uncertain terms however i feel like this one's kind of warranted and um i just kind of like talk about black designers really and truly i really effed up my audio by moving that mic <laughs> anyways let me let me get started man well anyways moolala is a mixed nigerian and she moved to britain to do fashion and yeah she's an amazing amazing designer i'm here to talk particularly though about um the campaign that she's doing now and how i think it's actually spectacular but let me give you a little bit of background history on moolala right moolala grew up in nigeria i think right and then moved to england right <laughs> literally i actually like I've, I've been speaking to my peoples yeah and the background is actually quite uncertain however i do know that she did do art history what we do know is <laughs> is her university experience and that is basically art history so she's actually an an art a fine artist first before she's ever a designer which explains so much so from the hair to the boots to the bags to the clothes just like me everything is all art and i really adore that her steez is just fabulous it's fabulous anyways her grandma was um a texter oh british textile designer that moved to nigeria to make um fabrics right and then her mum is actually um she's very well known in nigeria for her rough and tumble kids clothing nigeria's leading premium children's clothing brand so we manufacture and we retail um, children's clothing from six months to 16 years and that's really what we do that happens to be a tailor so the bloodline of design is quite high within that maulala family um a goodness see that's the one oh i didn't even remember it properly that's the yoruba man (laughs) anyways yeah um and maulala is like a really really fun person she loves to just have fun and be free and you know create things and like you know make music with her friends and you know do well i can really just resonate and relate to the fact that she loves to be outside and she's an extrovert and she likes to make memories with people as like that's exactly who i am as well and she's got really this big african rock motif 70s rock you see it everywhere and like her even in her show studio documentary it was quite apparent yeah roll the footage was quite apparent that she one loves nigeria and two has so many references from nigeria so she has a lot of nollywood references right and especially the 2000s nollywood references they're just like poof, all all in there man she has fella references she has a lot of african rock band references as well and well and she has a lot of um friends that obviously you know bang rock out as well but her first collection was a postgraduate csm i believe it's called psychedelic 
psychedelic i may be getting that wrong but it's called psychedelic she done her graduate show at csm and then she went to fashion east right and she, that is where i know her from i actually know her from fashion east fashion east shows me um new designers i may make a video about fashion east but fashion east is a great great fashion house that cultivates designers however her peers kind of have been shady to her and say that all she does is um go out and have fun and doesn't really work so there's that uh <laughs> but yeah she's like like okay let's let's bring this all together then she's an artist who loves painting and creating her parents are very very influential in like just create the creation of clothes and she's just a fun loving party girl that like has a lot of sex and punk references in her clothes and rock references i should say and it's all nigerian african just to be safe but it's all nigerian african there are almost i can say no white punk or rock or cinematic references and I've been talking to this with my peers and this is the reason why I find her so important it's because like she's really imagining or should I say reimagining our youths growing up and I just see it as such a fabulous thing to do like um she just creates this I wouldn't say fantasy but almost a nostalgia and places it today and to a lot of people her references are new and fresh but for us it feels nostalgic and it feels like home and thus she um got dubbed the term mummy lala <laughs> by the young people hopefully i'll be daddy lare soon <laughs> i can't believe i said that um unironically <laughs> oh man but she finds the transformation of fabric enchanting she's one of those designers that actually loves manipulating fabric and yeah she's had celebrities wear her clothes and well drake and kanye have even wore her clothes not that even that even matters however it does matter in the sense that like uh she is now the creative director of yeezy gap can you believe our girl is creative director of yeezy gap and that kind of just shows like what csm does for people however like yeah that's that's just amazing she made her fashion movie silent madness that it was just sickening roll the clip it's actually amazing like i cannot like stress enough how much i find the way that she references and the way that she puts and injects our social lives and social settings into her art but it's phenomenal and the dark almost not eerie but grungy type references it's it feel it in a weird way it fills me with this joy like um obviously there's eve's tumor Detto black and um igbo spice and um chai chai virgo as well like just bare people that are just like with her on this wave and a bunch of other rock and rollers as well this is the main thing i want to speak about there has been 
this um how would how would i put it there has been this distasteful representation of um black and afrocentric women in fashion right and you know i can pretty much name everybody there like a de a du a wang um iman ducky like the, the names can ring off or like all day and this is the the point i'm trying to prove is that um if getting african or afrocentric models was just an intrinsic part of your process i would be seeing new faces all the time every season i'd shout out to um few models and more models of color because they are doing a great job cultivating all of this new talent and if it wasn't for them a lot of the faces that i see uh, much like annabelle with um orange culture nigeria they wouldn't be shown so yeah like i just want to give a shout out to them but particularly i want to talk about it i want to talk about the good what mummy lala is doing <laughs> <laughs> what Moa Lala is doing right now is just insane. Basically, she done this campaign with her five friends, right? With her five friends, she done. I saw it. I saw the process step by step. So basically, she done this IG live, um, where bare people could just model for her, right? And me, um, Nigerian Gothic and Clit Hub were just in the comments obviously well actually i don't think nigerian gothic was there we were in clit hub we were just like or oh, oche like um we, we were bantering and everything and everybody would go into the live and like we were just like kicking it having fun all of that stuff but at the end of it wow mo mommy lola <laughs> that's what i came up with mommy lola that's why i keep saying it <laughs> hopefully it sticks fam but yeah as Moolala Mo was doing that she came up with her new bag right and her bag dropped and obviously it almost sold out I, I forgot what the name of the bag is sugar sign but yeah literally with with her mates she created a campaign around women that are the Moolala woman and that's important because I don't really very much see designated um campaigns or even editorial or like literally these women are possibly the moral woman and it's only set to say that their growth in the fashion industry will be much like naomi campbell because i've asked the question many times where are the black supermodels that aren't naomi campbell and you know you can say you do and all of that stuff but not not really because there's not bear of her around to be fair there wasn't even bear naomi campbell's running around right but then with this i can see a very clued in woman deciding to create um this idea of the strong confident woman that dresses in moolala and that is that is what it is and these black women happen to be just graceful and beautiful and the campaign was just it was stunning it's been me she had um i believe it was either the sony ericsson logo with her m in it as well and she's mtv so you can see all of the spins on that, those references as well but yeah let me just name the names of the people that are um, there i already named uh what's it called igbo spice or igbo spice um chai virgo um amk mq art and well they're gonna be on the screen but and Dell black as well and maxine or mvxxx right the, these these women from like basically from everywhere are now the basically the face of this molala campaign and i just find that beautiful just like to me at least they're normal women of course they've been models but 
there apart from that there it's basically a street cast where it's like you're not picking a popping model you're finding women that like your stuff and you give it to them and you basically make them your brand ambassadors hood by almost done it with um this unknown model that was um non-binary but obviously there was things that happened that didn't allow that to just stick so yeah like i'm really going for these models to be the best this is the thing i need them to just blow up and become the best but yeah that was my little profile model obviously i'm not really one to do um identity profiles i will do my peer review of her but i really wanted to speak about that particular thing with the with the design or with the campaign with the girls that i hope become the biggest supermodels in the world but yeah i've been r of now on twitter ny typical on <laughs> on instagram and youtube but yeah this has been night from nytypical.net your fashion consigliere crystal box bodyguard the definite dandy i'm a queen's muse himself go <laughs> to the next episode comment down below your love for maolala and yeah holler holler and say you need to do um a fashion conversation or an art conversation with ny typical because he's trying to be the voice of nigerian art <laughs> all right man peace <laughs>